Hey guys, what's up? Amir Ryder here with Daniel Wax. This is the sales software review series where we review sales software and give you guys some natural demos and, and ask the owner and founder some real questions. Thank you for joining. Daniel, appreciate you uh, coming on, man. How's everything going? Oh, pleasure, pleasure to be on here, Amir. Everything's going great. It's a wonderful morning here. Awesome. So, so typically we, we, we have either founders on this show that create amazing software or, or sales leaders that help the world get their hands on it. And we have viewers that are buyers of sales services, technologies, and remote workers always looking for the, the latest and greatest tricks and trades to get those B2B lead gen. B2B lead gen is everything. That's why we're here helping companies with revenue. Um, love to ask you a question. What, what, what made you come up with the idea for self-disrupt um, how did you get in this business in the first place? And uh, tell us a little bit about it. Definitely. So essentially how I got into it was I've been in commission only sales since I was 16 years old. And by the time that I was 22, 23 was running sales teams and revenue teams and realized that people were still running into the same issues seven years later that I ran to ran into when I first started doing commission only sales, which was one. There's only so much time in a day and you got to make the most out of well, it. Let's not get that. So you're, so you're fixing problems, right? Cause we're going to ask you that next. I'm going to get into that next. Okay. Um, but, but essentially you were a hustler, um, a hardworking young sales guy, and you ran into some issues that, um, you decided to fix. Um, let's get into those. Right. And, and just for anybody listening, self disrupt is a, is a software platform that helps automate B2B lead gen in through LinkedIn. Correct. Yep, through LinkedIn, oh. email, and we're adding other ways later, but LinkedIn predominantly. Now I'm ready for the problems. So, so talk to me about what are the problems that you were trying to fix when you when you uh, went ahead and, and created Self Disrupt? Yeah, so two big problems. One, there's not enough time in the day for you to really do everything that you need to as a founder, as a sales leader, as someone even just doing sales. You got to touch more people. The second big issue is technology is huge. Everyone's talking about AI and no one really knows how to make it human. So our goal is to make AI sound human and teach people how to create genuine relationships at scale and keep their voice, them at scale. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, and I think that that's, that's the world we're going in with AI and automation. Be be more human, right? I think we're all saying, well, we all, well, we all uh, become less social because of social media <laughs> and things like that. But that's a completely different conversation. Uh, talk to me about your buyers, right? Is there... Is there a specific buyer that you help uh, differently than another, right? Do, do you prefer to help software companies? Do you prefer to help service companies? Do you prefer to, to go after the software as a service that everyone does? Or do you, do you like to help real estate agents and maybe some industries that are, that are um, further behind the digital transformation and sales? Like who, who, are, who are your top buyers if you had to, had to pick one? Yeah, top buyers industry. It's weird because we don't look at it really industry-wise, but we have a couple industries we're best for. So we're best for the coaches and consultants of the world. We're best for the B2B small business. And we are best for computer software companies and marketing and sales. No, you can't be best for everything. Such those a sales four. guy, Daniel. I like it. Just, just those four. But the reason why I say that is because our ideal buyer is yeah. someone who thinks differently and acts differently. They know that they have the ideas to move society forward, but they need to get in conversations with like-minded people in order to make those ideas come to life and propel society forward. We're the people Great. who make that connection for those specific people. So let's focus on the first one that you said. It, it, it's, you, you know, and like I said before, I know you help a lot of people, right? I think the purpose of the show is just to kind of ask the tough questions, get you that, to talk about that 80 20, right? Where, where, where 80% of your revenue comes from 20% of your clients. That's always this rule in nature, right? Um, so talk to me about consultants and trainers, right? Because that's a, that's a community that we know pretty well as, that, as well. Would you, would you say that, um, you're able to help those people because they tend to be solopreneurs and, and that and that there's a bigger opportunity for leaders of companies to use their LinkedIn and that maybe the lifetime value LTV is higher for these coaches so that they can have a higher ROI when they use your software. Like what makes them the best? Yeah, so coaches and consultants are best for what you said, but there's one reason before that. Coaches and consultants are people who are experts in what they do. They have knowledge in their field and that's why they started coaching. If you're completely knowledgeable on, for example, how to create employee compensation programs, but you're not extremely knowledgeable on how to start those conversations with the right people, well, we're going to take care of that and take care of teaching you and give you the platform 
of how to spread your word, how to spread your expert knowledge and get in front of the right people. So there's mm -hmm. people that are truly experts. It's helping them to disseminate that knowledge and put them in the right conversations. Okay. Would you, would you say that the name self disrupt comes from the concept of like, Hey, you as a solopreneur can do your own sales, right? Like, is, is it, are you kind of pushing this concept that like in the past we had to hire huge sales teams, hire outsourced sales agency, hire marketing companies. But if you want to self disrupt, you know, be an army of one, be a solopreneur that has an eight figure business by yourself that, you know, they can use your software to expand themselves, self disrupt that where the name came from. Uh, close, close. Where the name came from is there's actually for self disrupt. We believe that people who disrupt their industries are the ones that move forward. Like I said, so if you're disrupting your career, your industry, rewriting the playbook for how sales is done, rewriting the playbook. So yes, it's getting rid of the old concept that you need to have an entire sales floor. It's getting rid of the old concept that, you know, it's going to take this freaking long to reach our goals. And instead we're saying, hey, let's disrupt the way that you do that. Let's leverage yourself, your personal branding and tie that in to disrupt the way that things are being done to shorten your time frame to reach your goals and to talk to the people that you need to get in front of quicker. Awesome. I, I like it. Um, talk to me about, we're going to get to the demo of your product. That's what I really want to show people, right? But before I get into that, tell me a little bit how you differentiate from other people in the space. Uh, and you don't need to go too deep, but I'd love to let's poke you poke you on this one a little bit. How, how do you how do you really see yourself differentiating from the other players in the uh, software platform space that help with LinkedIn and email? Yeah, we're we're different in two main ways. The first way is our emphasis isn't on giving people a software. Our emphasis is always on results. So what I mean by that is when someone works with us, no matter how they come in to use the software, education is the key to advancement. So no matter how someone comes in. We're putting in hands-on help, making sure that they're educated on how to find the right people. How do you message and keep your voice at scale? And how do you actually convert those people through your funnel? So we don't only stay at the top. We help on every aspect of it, providing everything from video courses all the way through to handheld and done for you options uh, to make sure that people can get the most education necessary because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Awesome. Demo time. Would you be as kind of, uh, would you be so kind to share your screen and, and give us a 10 minute demo of uh, how people can leverage your product to generate B2B leads and disrupt the way that they go to market? Without a doubt, without a doubt, I'll pull that up right here for you. Let me know when it's, uh, when it's up. Oh, we can see it. Awesome. So one big thing to note, this is my account. We use our software to bring our software to the market. We're not one of those companies that show you a demo account. We're always doing what we preach to our clients. That's why whenever we talk to them, we're giving them our best strategies and we're continuously testing and improving. So let's dive into how it works and how we actually build it. LinkedIn's a place with 9 million people on it. So we're going to dive into how to differentiate who you're talking to and how to build a campaign on here and what type of results come from it. So when you click create new campaign in the top right, you get two options, simple and smart. A simple campaign is your basic automation in chronological order. Let's send a LinkedIn connection request, then let's send a LinkedIn message, then let's send a LinkedIn email. When someone responds, the automation stops. On a smart campaign, this is one of our big differentiators. We're able to set up with a smart campaign conditions. This is for the expert marketer, the person who's familiar with building campaigns. We can say, if someone does not connect with me, then find their email and send them an email. So you can set up different conditions based on that. For the purposes of this, I'm going to click into a simple campaign and show you all how that works. So I'm going to click simple. And at the top, we have our parameters for organization. So I'm just going to put test in the campaign name. Right beneath it, you can choose, would you like to do LinkedIn and email or email only? Okay. You can choose to only reach out to LinkedIn users who have premium subscriptions. This is so that you have the best results possible. They're super active. You can also track your links. On the right-hand side, you have your search parameters. So in order to find people, you would do a LinkedIn navigator or a LinkedIn search. And all you would need to do is copy and paste the URL here. It is the same thing if people like a LinkedIn post, say that they're attending an event so that you know that there's interest in that topic or say that they belong to a group so that you know that there's interest in that topic. 
a lot of different search parameters. Let me, let me let me pause you there. So if anybody watching this, this is just a way for you to create eight, a campaign from a list in Sales Navigator, or you could literally have a post that somebody got a thousand likes on it, right? And it's a topic that is somewhere where if they like this post or interact, they might be interested in self, you know, generating B2B lead gen with their profile. And then you could target people who just like that post, or you could target a group, right? Or so you could target these events and get a little bit more, I would say, creative with the way you go to market in a campaign, which makes sense because sometimes posts and groups carry intent more than just a sales navigator list, right? Exactly. Like as an example, if someone is running a coaching and consulting business on how to grow out your sales team, then maybe they would want an event that they find that someone's hosting a competitor online. That's how to, how to train and retain your sales talent. Mm -hmm. You find that event, put that in here. And now your entire messaging can reference, Hey, I know that you're going to this event and you have interest in this. Makes sense. Or even I put it into like, you know, you as the user of your own product, you mentioned that coaches are your best uh, candidates. But like, so if you have a group on LinkedIn, that's like, uh, you know, sales coaches, you know, and it's got 20,000 people and everyone's in that group, you probably know that they're all sales coaches that are looking to help each other get more revenue. So you can run a campaign to them mentioning like, hey, I saw that you're in this group and figured that you're probably in this group because you want to learn more about generating revenue through community and we help your community. Right. It's kind of exactly. Exact. Keep going with the demo. I didn't want to distract you, man, but I just wanted to clear that up. No, uh, you're on the money, Amir. And so down beneath it, you have your steps that you can build out. If I click add step, it'll pop up with LinkedIn automation on the left side, email automation and integrations on the right. So on the left hand side, you have LinkedIn automation. Options that you have, perform action. These are soft touch points to have your name appear in their notifications. This is automated viewing someone's profile page, automated following their profile, liking their posts or endorsing their skills. We all hate it when we get, you know, DM after DM after DM after DM with no answer. So let's create a means that you can show someone that you're supporting them without having it be such a hard task. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we have is the ability to send a connection request. If you click it, you can make it a blank message and see your preview, or you can include a message. We'll help you out with best practices that are updated a lot templates that we can help you out in creating and we'll go over video in just a second here yeah you can also personalize this by their name what they do for work anything else here now when you go to send a message this is if you're already connected to them or if you are going to the same event or belong to the same group when you click send message you can write out your message or you can take a video so video prospecting is huge in today's sales environment and a lot of people create one-on-one -on -one videos all the time. I've all, we always looked for a way to make it so that we can record a video once and have it show everyone their name or their LinkedIn profile, make it so that you can record a video once and show everyone personalized to them. So we yeah. built that. So this is a feature that's kind of unique to you guys, at least that we know of, but where you learned a way to personalize videos at scale, right? Exactly. Awesome. So whenever, whenever you record a video, you can title it, you know, first name, great to be networked. And you can put a subtitle like a call to action. And when you record the video, you record the video right here. If I click experience, it'll show Jane Doe their experience. And for each and every person that the software reaches out to, it's going to show them their profile. So if I reached out to you, Amir, through the software, it would show you Amir Writer's profile. And I can say, I saw that you're running your company. And it would show you in the experience, cloud tabs. So right now, what you're really achieving, right, is effort at scale, right? So, so basically, you know, buyers and sellers are kind of always at this battle of like who's trying to sell who, clear message, and and what you're trying to do at scale is you're you're basically saying like, look, if you're a CEO of a, of a software, uh, if you're a consulting company, right, or a training company, um, you might not be able to personalize 150 videos, but you know that your buyers would take you a little bit more seriously if they saw that you put in the effort to research them, right? So what you're doing is you're taking that effort, which could take five to 10 minutes, typically if somebody is gonna research and do a video, and now you're doing it at scale where the video they get shows them that you're on their profile and that you're actually looking at what they're doing so that you could stand out from all the other messages or just saying, you know, great to connect, love to do X, Y, Z, here's my calendar and look, let's book a time, right? So what you're doing is, is you're, 
you're um, finding what the status quo is not, right? And the status quo right now is not automating personalization and, and you're fixing that problem by automating personalization at scale. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. I like that. Yep. That's the whole point with it. And uh, from here, you are able to add steps. You can send an email as well on LinkedIn and you can on email automation, you can send emails. So if I click send email, you can, you can hook up your email and thread LinkedIn messages with emails in the same exact campaign to have it be multi-channel. Of course, long form does not work on LinkedIn. Can you do emails that are like, you know, a trigger where like, if it's connection sent on LinkedIn, it sends an email saying, Hey, my, Hey Daniel, I just sent you a connection request on LinkedIn. Looking forward to, uh, looking forward to hearing back from you or looking forward to connect with you. Like kind of like, you know, helping you convert higher connection rates. Exactly. So what you can do right here is you can put send connection request and you see a toggle that says, wait for a connection request to be accepted. Yeah. You can even choose to turn this off and have the second step be enrich a profile. So enrich profile is going to scan about 2 billion online data points, LinkedIn sales navigator, and see if it can find their email and cell phone number. If it does, well, let's send a connection request and zero days and zero hours later, or one hour later, let's send an email letting them know about the connection request or after yeah. they connect with or wait. Until and once they again, this mirrors effort at scale, right? I think it's, I think what we're trying to do is obviously it's a balance between, you know, being transparent with the, with, with what you're doing, but also getting results and, and, and getting that B2B lead gen going up. So basically it's very uncommon for, somebody on LinkedIn to send a connection request and send a personalized email after. And when you do those things, it mirrors effort and, and hard work. Right. So um, it, it's, it's basically letting you stand out from the status quo so that you can get a higher connection request rate and hopefully a higher response rate so that you're just not like everybody else. Right. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. That's the whole goal. And then the other thing that we've built in here, which this is kind of, one of the more minor things in here, more for the advanced person who's using a lot of technology already, uh, we are able to hook into over 5,000 applications, other softwares, so that you can include in your campaigns while this person you, connected with Do you hook into me. HubSpot and Salesforce? Yeah. What, so what, what are the top five things you hook into just for those listening? Yeah. So let me save this and I'll actually show you that tab. Okay. So I'm going to click save. And once it saves there will be a toggle option. It's just taking a second here. You know, software, sometimes it does that. Um, but while that is loading, the top five softwares that we connect to, we are natively integrated to HubSpot. We are natively integrated to Pipedrive. We are also on Zapier, so we are able to connect to over 5,000 different applications. The way that that works is in our integrations tab once this loads up. Hmm, servers. Don't worry, what's the number one uh, connection that you find your buyers using? So top connections that we find them using is gonna be hooking in their email right here mm -hmm. to use their email. Mm -hmm. We see them use Zapier a lot, but we hook in natively to HubSpot and Pipedrive and SendGrid. Does this mean that from HubSpot, you could do a workflow that will push a step out to, to do social stuff after? Like, let's just say that someone signs up on a HubSpot website as a marketing qualified lead. Could it trigger a workflow to then connect with them on LinkedIn and say, thank you for signing up. I'm here to help you. It would trigger the other way around. Okay. So in the pros if you hook it in through HubSpot, um, I'll show you this in a second in the prospects tab. You are able to move data directly into HubSpot, get the exact LinkedIn conversation. Got it. And you can set up workflows in HubSpot to enroll people in sequences from there. Got it. And your pipeline right here is actually your HubSpot pipeline directly in here that you can add prospects into it and create deals directly from the tool. Cool. Um, on the other side, though, what I really like is, for example, if you use Zapier, which I'm not sure how many people watching this use Zapier, you can customize any settings to literally pull in messages, pull in texts, pull in emails, pull in data, connections, anything like that. And you Great. can also trigger anything. Um, but away from that, the 
biggest thing on pushing data is in the prospects tab, you'll have kind of every person that you are reaching out to on LinkedIn. You can sort this by if they've connected with you, if they've replied, if you've contacted them or not. So as an example, if I just click one of my campaigns, it's going to pop up and at the top it's a little blurry, but you'll see it says enrich, export, action, and push to CRM. If I click someone, I can enrich them, I can pause their campaign, resume it, export them out or push directly into Pipedrive or HubSpot. Yeah. This reminds me a little bit of like Apollo, which is a, one of our top partners in our marketplace as well, but they, they send it around more email um, and you center it more around LinkedIn. So it's like a different core, right? Yeah. And to be honest, Apollo's email data is probably much better than ours. It's not our main focus. Yeah. It's something that we added into here to provide extra value that we're building out as we grow. Yeah. However, the phone number, so the work and personal emails and the phone number here, this comes from their LinkedIn profile. They put it on there. Cool. The enriched phone and enriched email is coming from online sources. So if someone switched jobs recently, it may not update fully, but here's their emails. And their enriched phone is always pulling cell phones. So these are always going to be cell phone numbers. Great. You can push directly. So I, 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 this is awesome. I love what you built. Um, I think I, I, I can totally see its application. And uh, for anybody listening, what we're going to do is we're going to have a series of actually running campaigns with Daniel's tool with Self Disrupt. And we're going to publish the whole thing. We're going to publish the setup, the planning, the setup, the execution, the results, so that you guys can see the product um, firsthand. And obviously, as we do these software review series, we're always open to feedback on what you guys want to see, because these demos are really designed for the users to get a different perspective and to really get less of that, more of the where the, the, the rubber meets the road, right? The tires meet the road. We want to get into the transaction. So um, I'm going to run a campaign. I'm going to share our results. Uh, Daniel, I think you're going to be at the Sales Agency Growth Summit in Medellin, Colombia in May. So I'm going to be sure to introduce you to companies like Clay that also do some automation. I saw those webhooks and I think you guys can work well together. So I'm going to make some intros so that you guys can continue to, to, to make your product bigger, better, faster, cheaper. Um, anybody who wants to reach out to you that wants to connect with you, pick your brain, learn from you, follow you or, or use self-destruct, where can they find you? How can they reach out? Yeah. So first place you can find me is going to be LinkedIn. Of course, you can find me at linkedin.com slash I N slash Wolf of SAS S A A S. Uh, if you can't tell what my favorite movie was growing up. Now, you know, um, the second, the second place that you can find us is if you go to the T H E self disrupt.com and scroll to the bottom, go subscribe and fill out our contact us form. Uh, it will go directly to me and our team. And all that's going to happen is we're going to start sending you a bunch of tips and tricks to start using LinkedIn best and send you over a link if you'd like to talk to us. After this, I want you to send me any guides and ebooks and resources you have with data so I can share with the community. Daniel, you're the man. I appreciate you being on our show today and I appreciate what you're building and who you're trying to help. Uh, thank you again, man, for being here. And I look forward to uh, using this thing and, and showing people the results. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me on. And uh, thank you for having the same type of mission as us and thinking differently. Awesome, and it's self-disrupting. We're trying our best. Take care, dude.